Yas, hey, Yas, 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 where's, hey, Chase, where's my, in the studio. Like, boys, can you go to school there a little bit? Yeah, I'm always like this. Y'all ready? Yeah. You're listening to WACI 88.9. This is Birds and the Bees. Broadcast live from Heidelberg University in Tiffin, Ohio. This is Juice. Jogging to Randy. Young A. And it's Kills. What's up, y'all? We back again for another show. What's happening? What's going on with y'all, man? It's I Monday. I know y'all had a nice little day off. Everybody, it was snowing crazy. Yeah. Everywhere, man. The weather is brutal, man. Nice little off day. Hope y'all are chilling. chilling. Oh, yeah. The off day was so clutch. Woke up this morning, looked at my phone, and went right back to sleep. <laughs> Got that clutch email. Is that what you did? Class That's exactly awesome. what I did, man. Is that what you did for real? Yeah, man. But y'all know we got a good show, good show today for y'all. Oh yeah, some real good topics for y'all. Y'all, it's gonna be real interesting. I want all the opinions. Everybody should be calling in. We got some juicy topics to discuss. Oh yeah. Can they get a Can they get a sneak peek of like the first time? Sneak peek already, man. No, no, no just tell them what it is. Like, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? We gonna, well, it being with, with it being February, we gonna discuss um Black History Month. Yeah. And Aquarius season. Shout out to Aquarius. <laughs> y'all know what's going. Oh yeah, it's going. Yeah, we're going to discuss Black History Month, but um, not a, not about what you would think. We're going to discuss uh, whether or not you think it would it's it's necessary, in a sense. And we're going to just, we're going to just touch on that more later on. So you'll, you'll get the gist of it. Yeah, man. Y'all know how we do. We got we to gotta touch base on some real. But, you know, at the same time, you know, we keep it light. So right. it's going to be all good, man. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Y'all know how it go. You know how we do it, man. All right, y'all. We got a, um, got a bunch of bangers coming up for y'all, man. We download some more music, man. We got a whole bunch of downloading more now. Uh, call let us with requests. We call need us with request. requests. Hit yeah. us up on Twitter. Let us know, man. We got it going. Mm-hmm. Birds and Beats, come at you live. That's a good song to come in with. Yeah. Say, if you a bad chick, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Tell the feel the lights down right now. Put me. How are we going to get rid of racism? Morgan Freeman says, stop talking about it. There's some words right there, no, man. That's deep. Definitely something to think about. For real. All right. Now, the touch base go on that. Go ahead and your take, dog. Yeah, you go first, man, dude. Morgan Freeman with that, I don't I don't feel like I agree with him. You know, just because you don't, just because you don't acknowledge your problem don't mean that it goes away. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, if you, if you left some trash in your room, it's going to still be there just because you don't acknowledge it doesn't mean that it's going to be gone. You know what I'm saying? So for him to say that if you just you just going to forget about it, if you don't talk about it, that's not going to make racism go away. It's still going to be there at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So for him to say that, you know, I felt like he was kind of ignorant. But but him wanting uh, us to not have a month, I, I can understand where he says that, you know, where he doesn't want uh, black people to have a month dedicated to them. But then again... You might forget about the struggles, the things that we went through to get to where we're at now. You know, we came a long way. You know, so for him to do that, for, to say that, you know, it just it ain't make sense to me. But you know, everybody entitled to their opinion. Okay, you know what I do. I mean, I do understand what Kendall's saying, but we brought the topic up earlier. Um, I made a choice, and I said, well, I agree with what he's saying because I feel as if. America is just a big melting pot, and I feel like black history is American history, as well as Puerto Rican history, as well as Mexican history, and right, Spanish right. people's history, and right. anybody else, and for that matter. <clears throat> the point for America being made was so that everybody can come in and everybody can start a new life. So everybody start coming over here in the first place. So for us to sing a lot and say, okay, well, you guys get this time of the month to celebrate, and we're all going to remember what you guys did for this country. Good job. That's not, that's not... It's really just making me mad because that's that's not okay. Just like how they have um, you guys, uh, you guys are, you know, you guys are really, you know, very very heavy in the NBA. You guys watch and you see how they have um, the Latin night jerseys. The Latin night jerseys, for example, it says uh, L Spurs or yeah, Los Heat yeah. or um, or Los Lakers. That's just that's just a celebration of the Spanish people and the Spanish heritage for just one night. Why is it just one night? <clears throat> But they've worked as hard as anybody else, too. When black people have two, when white people have two, we're all being equal. Isn't that what Dr. King fought for in the first place? So why just have one month? It makes no sense. We should have every day. Exactly, man. I mean, I think, when I think about it, like, I think that, you know, Morgan Freeman was right. Like, we shouldn't be confined to just the month of February, you know? I mean, it should be something that 
this should be talked about year round. It shouldn't it shouldn't just be like one month that's particularly glorified. You know, when you and then on top of that, like you gotta think like we don't that's not that's not necessarily saying that we don't need to learn about our history. I mean we definitely need to know everything we can, you know, about everybody who came before us in this country who fought so hard to give us the things that we have today. But at the same time, man, it shouldn't we shouldn't just wait till February, man. I mean, even when, you know, when we was in high school, you know, we barely did stuff for Black History Month as it is. So it's like, I mean, you know, it was kinda like real, you know, unimportant right. to a lot of a lot of school districts. And I mean and I I don't think it should be that way. Like, you know, I think it should be, you know, all year round. And like Abe was saying, you know, like it's a melting pot. Like it ain't just, you know, white history or black history or you know, it's, I mean, because this country built off a lot of people, you know, immigrants and all type of stuff. So, I mean, if y'all know your history, y'all know what we're talking about. Oh, yeah, man. We're telling me lies. Um, I agree with Morgan Freeman to a certain extent, but I still have some ways where I differ. Um, I feel like it's still good to be educated and take pride in um, one's own history. Right, right. You know what I'm saying, don't get me wrong. I mean, like, uh, I myself, I mean, in my family, um, <laughs> And with my roots, my mother is the uh, president of the of a, a national council of Negro women. Uh, so that and that's a sure. branch I could, yeah, man. I yeah, didn't even know everybody's that. really involved in my family. My dad's the firefighter. He's a firefighter. Uh, okay, I knew that. I knew that. Yeah, my dad's a firefighter, and he's a president of Vanguard. Those are black firefighters based out of Cleveland. So he's the president of that. I just got two real involved parents as far as um, black roots, and they're really involved in the community. And um, they made sure they instilled those values in the me. So I know my history like the back of my hand. And I feel like everyone should, everyone else should um, be the same way. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, but I, I feel like you should get to know your history. And with so much negativity going around, you know what I'm saying? So you got all these shootings and everybody portraying um, black American in negative light. It's good to go back and see how far we, how far we came into, come as a community and, um, and how much progression we've made. But at the same time here, here's the, here's the tricky part for me. At the same time, it's still creating a barrier with other cultures. And you got this whole month out of the way where you're supposed to just talk about black history. You shouldn't be divided, you yeah, feel me? You're, you're still dividing it at the, right. at the very core. And that's not good for anything. Like, you're still separating. That's not what the purpose of this is. We're supposed to, um, I feel like we're promoting one race over another as one being superior. Whereas um, not unifying them all, which isn't a good thing. Um, that's what I feel like we're doing when, with Black History Month. I also feel like it's, <laughs> it's really silly, man. I feel like it's like rep reparations. Like we're getting like paid back for slavery with this month. Like they're trying to like white guilt's kicking in, I guess you can call it that. Yeah. Or like, uh, so all right, sorry for what happened back in the day. Here's 28 days, use wise. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's silly to me, man. It's like 40 acres in a mule, but they got it in a month, man. I don't, I don't know. I can't, I can't get down with it. But at the same time, um, it's still good to promote it. It's still good to promote it and educate yourselves on your history and keep making history. Yeah, do, American do, do, history. do everything y'all can, man, for real. The only cure for ignorance is knowledge. And the only way y'all can do that is learn. You know, no, no, learn everything y'all can. Get out there. You know, I mean, ask your people. Ask your grandma, grandfather, you know, I'm pretty sure they know it all, so I'm asking. Oh, yeah, man. Good stories to tell, for no real. You got a history book than to ask your grandparents, man. Huh? Exactly. Oh, yeah. My bad, man. I know we just had some technical uh, difficulties. Um, I know some people were just asking us, uh, they hear some music in the background. There's a $3,000 computer and it just messes up every single week and it pisses me off, trust me. <laughs> trust me, trust me, believe that. Oh, man. We having struggles, but we working though, it's all good. Oh, yeah, we definitely working on it. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to fix this problem right now and I believe that I just did it. So, I mean, if not, then you guys can call and let Kendall know or myself know. And I'm, yeah, get and on there, man. They the technical gurus over there and they messing up, so get on there. Get on there. Uh, we're just talking, but no, um, make sure y'all definitely call in on this topic. We definitely want to talk about it some more. We're going to have some more input when we come back from this break. But um, definitely chime in on your thoughts of Black History Month. Is it needed? You give a number or what? Oh, yeah. 419-448-2200. Oh, yeah. Again, that's 419-448-2200. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought y'all had it on speed dial by now, man. That's my Yeah, y'all need to. Oh, we got new listeners, man. We got to make in. sure they get it, too. <laughs> yeah. so we got new listeners there. Get in, man. I'm going to say it one more time. 419-448-2200. Make sure y'all call in. We'll be right back. You going to sign us out? That wasn't a good sign out. You gotta do a better oh, sign out. Birds and the bees, we'll be right back. Make a change.
That's a good one. Go. Oh my god, man. Look, I don't care what y'all saying. I don't care. Y'all on Twitter. I say what y'all want. I don't care. I play Tyrese because I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I'm back here. I want to do it because so what? Yeah, that's a banger too, though. Hold on, no. Hold on. I got a question, y'all. I see every time we get to talking about something, you know, like about like a male versus female or something, like you know, we get a lot of feedback. You know, yeah. we talk about some real stuff. You know, like like the importance of our heritage. Nobody calls in. You know. That's kind of confusing to me, man. Yeah, y'all out there playing around, man. I don't know what y'all doing. Man. I don't know. I think maybe we should talk about side chicks again. Is that, should we talk about no, side they chicks? They do love side chicks. I think side chicks. They love side chicks. Can I start the rant? Go ahead and start the rant. Go ahead and start the rant. Look, man. Start the rant. Look, man. Look, 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 look. So y'all sat up here, right? We've been coming to y'all live Monday through Wednesday. What is it? Our third week? It's our fifth show. Y'all set sure. up here and y'all blow our phone lines up about Valentine's Day, about relationships, about cheating, about sidelines. But we talking about something very, very significant. We're talking about our heritage and y'all don't call. We talking about something where these people out here don't respect us as people still to this day. I don't care if y'all talking about the 2015. Who cares? Because it's still here. Y'all don't call and y'all say nothing about it. Okay, but let somebody else sit up here. Let somebody else go beat up a little black kid. Okay, now let's go rap. Now let's go do this. Nah, nah, nah. All that other stuff right now. But what about right now? What about right now when we talking about an important issue, nobody calls this line. And I'm tired of having my mom call in here and speak some real. When y'all little kids right now need to call in and tell us how you feel. This is y'all time, but y'all want to sit up and y'all want to do it for retweets. Okay, well, maybe, well, maybe I'll put the show up right now. Maybe if I quote tweet y'all and y'all do it for retweets, man, maybe maybe you get famous then. How about that? Yeah, or maybe yeah. if I put it on Tumblr. How about that? Because you know that's how you get famous for real. Yeah. What about IG? What about that too? Man, I got a lot of followers. We can do that too. How about that? Now, bet this phone line start going up then. But we start talking about it now. Okay. No, you know, let's not call in. Okay. Well, Avery just sit up here and he just, you know, he just talking. He just mad. He's salty. He's salty. Okay, yeah, I'm salty because oh, man. I'm salty because every single day of the week we sit up here and we got to sit up here at a school where we are not, where we are constantly the minority. Again, even more so because the only black kids play football and that's it. Maybe a handful of basketball players. Yeah, ain't nothing but athletes out here. Unless and that's it. it. You don't play no sport. It just shows that, okay, well, <laughs> now you guys sit up here. You guys are still, you know, you guys are still at try high. Okay, now we got a call. Stop, man. Let me, let me, let me. Everybody hold. relax. Oh, version oh, of beef. What's going on? What's happening? Hello? You want version of beef? You want version of beef? What's going on? What's up, man? It's, it's Steve. What's good, What's Steve? Good? Hello? What's good, Steve? Talk to us. Yeah, man. Uh, it's Steve. I'm from Cleveland, man. I told him to the radio, though. As far as the Black History Month conversation, I think that any black maturation is positive. I think the negative is that us as blacks want more time for accolade, but we don't even embrace the small period of time they have designated for us to celebrate. Right. We do ourselves the injustice by not going harder for our month that they designated for us, you know? That's what I'm talking about, Steve. Hello? You hear me? Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's all I got to say, man. All right, bet. Thank you. Thanks for calling, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Love you, bro. See that? That's somebody who that's somebody who agrees with me. You know what I'm saying? That's somebody who agrees with me. I feel like you know what I'm saying. Y'all, I, I see where y'all coming from. Y'all say y'all don't want the month because it's you know it's it's singling us out as you know the only race to have a month and, exactly. and you know what I'm saying it's you know what I'm saying like marginalizing us. But but what I'm saying is we got the month to you know what I'm saying. To celebrate the history that we had, and we don't take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? He said he, he, no, 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 no. he was like, you know, we don't even celebrate what we got. No, no, no. Right. See, so see, like, see, no, 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 no. It's not we. Stop throwing us over that we category. Just like I told Brady, he can't get up, he can't sit up here and keep calling all these girls cold. Hold on, man, not answer that phone because I'm talking right now. Oh, yeah. He can't sit up here and keep calling the girls cold because they're not that. I'm talking about the fact that this. It's not we because we are obviously sitting up here and we talk about it because we feel some kind of way about it. But everybody else sit up here and they don't want to talk about it. I'm talking about the people that sit up here and they're feeling guilty right now. That's what I'm talking about. Now y'all don't want to call in. We got one dude that called in. Just one, my bad, two, because they're alive right now. Man, I'm tired of this, man. Wait, man, what a call that, man. You lie. What's going on? Yo, this is Andre. What's up, bro? What's good, bro? Andre, What's please, good, man. Dude? Please come in here and say society because I'm getting mad. <laughs> I've been called in. I went trying to help my mom working out how to take a shower. But anyways, as far as Black History, Black History Month, Morgan Freeman, I mean, it's easy for a millionaire to speak his mind 
and say whatever he wants to say and cause outrage by saying he don't want this, he don't want that. But at the end of the day, it don't matter if they give us a month, a week, a year, you know, most of the people now were, were not around then. So the month doesn't necessarily mean, you know, anything. It's like, it's what we gotta do is get out true. here and try to make ourselves be seen. Like, it ain't gotta be February for me to get an opportunity to be seen. Like, I'm trying to be seen in July. Like, yeah, I just killed it. I just, you know, got my degree or I just did whatever is, is a great accomplishment for our people. I don't think it needs to be limited to the money. I'm not saying we shouldn't have the money. The money's cool. You know, it's like we can learn about the old stuff, but if we not out here doing nothing worth being, you know, seen and, and worth being, you know, having a claim for, it's like you can't really complain. You know, like if, if I go hard and, and, I, and I blow up, you know, and I do something, but it's four months after Black History Month, I don't care. I'm, I'm, you know, all the social media. I'm trying to get in all the newspapers. I'm trying to get online. I'm trying to get everywhere because our people, we only get recognized really in the month. You know, they start bringing people out the woodwork. White school is making black history announcements, and but they teaching you white history. It, it, it really don't add up to have black history month in most situations. Like, I went to Shaker. In Black History Month, we have a Black History announcement on the on the speaker every morning. But when I wrote a play for Shaker, they told me I couldn't even speak word from our heritage because it would cause outrage or it was inappropriate to the people that would be watching. That's going against each other. Don't tell me I can put on a play in my month, but tell me how I got to put it on. So it's not necessarily about the month having it or not having it. It's more so about are we going to actually treat black people properly within the month and without with, you know without the month like i want to be able to do me and not have white rules on black history month i agree that's yeah, a real good it. point man i feel it bro i do i do <clears throat> i really i really feel where you're coming from but here's but here's my rebuttal to that okay yeah that's you and you feel any way you want to whether it's black history month or not but what about the kids who don't acknowledge anything that's still going on today in society, period. What about the ones that sit up here and, uh, well, my bad, hold on, let me just say this. My grandma used to say all the time, you can't see where you're going if you don't see and acknowledge where you've been. So to me, that means, okay, we see the struggle. We should acknowledge even more because of the fact that my grandmother marched with Dr. Martin Luther King and all that. She sat up here and she acknowledged the fact of where she's been, how, she, how they got Chase down my dogs, how they got sprayed by water, how they did protests and all that stuff, right, just so we right. can have equal rights today. People, I don't care if you're still 15, you still need to know that this happened and acknowledge it and be proud of it. That's what I'm saying, Andre. I'm totally with you on that, but only thing I'm saying is don't limit yourself to opening that history book, to looking up those facts only in the month of February so you can make a statement within February. If you figure out some, some real good black history, you know, but it's, you know, freaking December, then tell us. You know, we all on Instagram, we all on Twitter, whatever you want. Get on there and, and say something about it. Like, anybody who know me, I'm like that dude. Like, black fish to the sky, all that. So I just feel like we shouldn't limit ourselves to be within this month. Like, yeah, the money's cool. I love the money. I love all the posts that be up and the specials that be going on for Black History Month and all that. But I also love my people and my history 365 days of the year. That's real life. That's real. I promise. Thank hey, you. always is. Thanks for calling in, bro. Appreciate it, Jake. Definitely appreciate it, man. <clears throat> hey, man, but let me chime in on what he just said, though, because it was it's two key points that hit me. Like, one, about what he was saying about his play and, uh, you know, at school and at Shaker and all that. Let me just say this about the, the, the administration. They learn, you know, we learn only what they want us to learn. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's skewed from a point of view as to what they want us to know. History is taught by what they want you to know. So that's why we had to go above and beyond as a people to learn everything and not right. just what they want to tell us. And then, two about supporting our people 365 days, you know, I, I definitely believe in that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, with us being from Cleveland, 
you know, we support everybody. That's one thing that, that I think that should be important. You know that Cleveland support everybody. You know, everybody come out of Cleveland, you know, whether it's rappers, whether it's athletes, whether it's, you know, whoever. You know, I, I support anybody. I don't agree with that with everybody, man. <laughs> I mean, if you if you got talent, you feel me? You, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. you always show love, like you know. I don't hate on nobody who's trying to you know get out here and do their thing. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So that's I mean that's one thing that I feel that's important, you know, for us as a people, and you know just as a, you know a generation that's coming out of Cleveland. Oh yeah, man. I definitely feel what Andre was um, was, was talking about. Um, I, my point is, um, if you don't know history, you're doing a repeating. If you guys haven't heard that quote. Get familiar with it. Um, you got to know your history, uh, like the back of your hand, from, from, um, and not just um, go off of what they teach you in school. Because I'm in college now, and what I got in college is you no, know, is wasn't what I got in high school. And what I got in high school was nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I went to St. Ignatius. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a prestigious high school in the middle of Cleveland. Prestigious? Prestigious, man. <laughs> yeah, I had to throw the Iggy word out there one time. <laughs> Y'all love that, but. Um, Definitely, and um, you definitely don't get the history that that you need. You know what I'm saying? When I the history that I learned is built off my parents. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, the background that we had, that I had growing up, um, was was all history based. You know what I'm saying? They wanted me to know everything about my history so I can improve in the, uh, for future generations. But still, though, if you don't know. And how could you possibly even react on it? How could you ask them on it? Rather than the kids out here that rather pick up their phone and go ask Google than rather than go ask their grandparents what happened. Right. And that's a real good point, too. And uh, when, he, when, I, when he was talking, my thing was maybe the kids don't have, or maybe the, the, the callers, the listeners, they don't have much to chime in on because maybe race isn't affecting them, or, them right now. Um, the people like Morgan Freeman and like our grandparents, they had to deal with amounts of racism and discrimination that we haven't felt one bit. But here's what, you I, know know what, I'm saying? But here's what I don't understand. Yeah, we, still, we still shouldn't wait, though. You feel me? Right. No, nobody should wait for racism to come to them just to take but action. Here's, right. But here's what I don't understand. Y'all sit up here and y'all still taking up for now. But how can y'all, we are the same age group, a, a, a society as a whole. How can y'all sit up here, y'all two, all, all of us, us four sit up here and still have the same conversation, but nobody else can that's what I'm not understanding. Stop making excuses for them. If they don't know, then they don't know. And that's their fault. Let it be their fault. Yeah. It shouldn't be excuses, but you should take advantage of it. You feel me? Like, we can't, you know, can't nobody force you to go out here and learn. Yeah. You know, it's, it's got to be something that you you want to do on your own. It ain't nothing to pick up a book, man. It ain't nothing to tweet, man. Everything's on our phones right now. We have it in our, we have these big computers, these Macs, these everything, man. These iPads, these, all these techni technologically advanced gifts that we have right in front of us and we need to use them to our advantage hold on let, let me get on something before we uh move on you know uh i don't really care about break to be honest y'all just want to have music <laughs> i really don't care about that i was uh i was right talking here. to uh you know i was talking to uh, steve the caller who had just called and he said that uh you know uh avery was ranting but he wasn't expressing this point about how he felt about the um black history month and he wanted to know how you have anything you will never learn anything you have to accept being black first. Then you can address to go and do things for the everything is done by microwave. That's not the <laughs> time. Our forefathers and mothers taught us how to cook. Learn how to cook, learn how to clean, learn how to be family. In the Stephen Plain Dealer yesterday, I was so elated about Coach Dan said, share the table. Share the table. Call your little brothers and sisters in and say, here, here's something I need to teach you about a long time ago. Accept it and break it because it was part of our heritage. First thing we need to do is love each other. We need to love each other. Stop all this killing because someone is jealous for this, jealous for that. You don't have any territory. It's all this, all for all sort and life of people this world was made for. So learn how to spread the word amongst each other and love each other. Thanks. Thanks, Auntie. <laughs> Thanks for calling in, Auntie. 
Fuck. Yeah, man, she hit the nail on the head with that. Yeah. Where's the wisdom right there, man? And I think that's real important what she was saying, because, I mean, a lot of people don't know that, like, you know, the important things of uh, how to cook. Not, all right, not even trying to bash my females <laughs> right there, but, I mean, yeah, that's real important, you know, how to cook and, you know, uh, we got another caller. What's happening? No, no. I'll take another one. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Yeah, this is man. What's going on, man? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is man. I, I, I can't really hear y'all for real, but I, this, this, this is what I got to say to Avery, man. As far as Avery's opinion, yeah, that's all cool, man. And I like that you fired up by what you believe in, but if we look at our history like you keep claiming for us to do, you would know that Martin Luther King said that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. So if you feel that we doing ourselves an injustice, then you have to do something to get justice everywhere, you know, because you're doing you doing us all an injustice by knocking us down about what people don't believe when you gotta give people a reason to, you know, I mean not so much give people a reason, but you gotta encourage people, you know. Our biggest fear is that somebody gonna look down on us and say something negative about us, you know what I'm saying? So if you give somebody a reason to, to uplift them and for them not to feel like their opinion is belittled because maybe they're not as intelligent about the subject or matter as you are, then, I mean, like I said, there's, you, you, you create an injustice to your people as a whole because you're not even trying to, you know, encourage them. But what's the problem with people going to go find out about it and they don't know about it? What's the problem with that? I mean, if I, if, if, if you know, if I'm not encouraged, you know, you, so, so, you, you can't go off the risk that, that every black person has a family home that encourages them to want to wanna learn, you know? I agree. People were drawn to the black, the black marches and everything because they saw other people doing it. Now, other people came to them like, hey, yo, you should do this. You should say this because this is this, this is what's going on right now. This is important. This is what we need as a black nation right now. You know, it wasn't so much of people had the, 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 the initiative to start it up themselves. They had the initiative of oh, others pushing them forward. You know, that, that was Martin Luther King's whole thing. His thing was, I want to get as many people behind me as possible. It wasn't his po he must He must have had the most incline for black forwardness out of anybody. And, and, and he, 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 like, I'm just lost for words right now, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I just feel like we got to, we as black people, we got to encourage other black people. You know, we get so encouraged and we get so, uh, we get so, you know, powerful in our words when we see R.I.P., but we don't get strong enough to stand up about the other black issues, such as inequality within the school systems, you know what I'm saying? Or black people need more of a voice that they got to get from somewhere, you know, they got to demand. Like, we got to demand our respect as African Americans, and we don't do that. You know, that's our problem. I agree with that, too. You know, but, I mean, Avery, don't get me wrong, man. You, you're not, you, I understand what you're saying, but I think, like I said, you got you got we got to encourage us as black people, you know, because everybody don't got this fire like you got, <clears> like everybody else got. Just talking about this topic, so we got to first start by encouraging us, us as as blacks, so that we we feel comfortable enough to get this fire and that our fire is mean something. True. Thank. Hey, but thank you for calling in, because at least you have an opinion to say something about it. You know, at least argue with us about it a little bit. That's oh, what yeah. we've been asking for, and we didn't get the response that we hoped for in the beginning. I got you, man. Yeah. I respect the fire and I respect the topic that y'all came up with. And last week y'all was talking about, you know, all the crazy, you know, reality TV, MTV stuff. And now y'all talking about some real stuff, man. So I'm going to tune in. We, we got to get the answers. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for calling in, bro. All right, bro. All right, y'all. Put our mic back on. Put the mic on. All right, y'all, we got some good opinions and everything coming in. 
You know, y'all can still call. Let us know what's up, how you feel about that. You know what I'm saying? Let us know when you were in injustice or whatever. Tell us about, <laughs> what, about what's going on. <laughs> yeah, we but, appreciate that, though. That's for real. Like, I mean, we need that real feedback in here. Oh, yeah. We can't be talking about, you know, silly stuff all the time. We got to keep it real sometimes. You yeah. feel me? Shout out to Aubrey and Steve for coming and keeping it real with us. Hold on, we got a call. Another call? Another call? Birds of the Beach, you live on there. Birds and the bees. Hey, hey, cut your radio down. We yeah, can't hear you. I hear myself, man. Hello? Yeah, you on. Yeah, this is Andre again. <laughs> and another thing, just before y'all go to break, I want to hit on this. In order for people to get out there and learn, you know, y'all got to be willing to, to go back, you know. Don't just get on online and, and, and learn about the, the Trey Vines or the Mike Browns or, you know, all of that without going back and learning about the Huey Newton, you know, and, and the, the leaders from the movement outside of MLK. Don't get me wrong, MLK was a, a great man. He did a lot. But at the end of the day, it's hundreds of, of leaders out there, you know, and that's, a, that's something that kind of irritates me is when we always – lead our black discussion with either MLK, Malcolm X, or Rosa Parks, you know, when you had hundreds and hundreds of, of other leaders who just didn't have a platform that they had, right. you know, because those were the chosen main people. But I really like to get to digging back and, you know, digging deep, and that's just something we got to encourage, too. Don't just go learn about what's now or what just happened in black history. You know, you can't know history without knowing the beginning of it, you know, right. you only know what's now. You really ain't ain't really looking into nothing, you know. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, definitely, man. I hey, appreciate it, bro. Now I know y'all want to call. I know some of people want to call in. Hey, we man. have to go to work. Yeah, we keep it going. We will be back, man. We will be back. Keep y'all up. Man. You want to sign us out of what, Randy? <laughs> Oh, my deepest fear is not that we are inadequate, but we are powerful being our best. <laughs> Y'all think about that. Be easy. I miss my cocoa, but she said, I'm calling here and not answering. This is somebody calling again. The They've been right? playing on the phone all day. Okay, now she on. Okay, okay, okay. We got somebody. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Who y'all talking about? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah we can hear you. Hear you. Um, it's clear that there's been a law in the proactive behavior in the black community and we've come we've become complacent with the small things that have been handed to us, such as black history month and the progresses we made in the past. So as a community, we can honestly overlook this month if we focus more on proactive behavior. By going into our own community. And we have to learn how to kind of ignore what what has been handed to us and start to take things. And our history isn't our history anyway because it's been manipulated and contorted to negatively represent us as a people. And the ones that did make a change and were really big and movements were gunned down, so that's a direct representation of how many they respect us anyway. So I feel like it's time to recreate history and recreate it in a way that they're unable to lie and they can't hide the changes that we make and that we need to make. And in order to do that, we need to get out there. And in order to get out there and learn, we need to get out there and teach. And forget an Instagram or a Twitter post or any of that, or any of the excuses that we've made because excuses are dead and they are tools of incompetence. So my question is, where are the Young Brothers leading movements at? Where are the sisters starting nonprofits to combat these issues, to make us more prevalent in everyday life so that we can't look past as much and not worry so much about it and not be so concerned about it? Because the complacency is honestly killing our generation. Huh. That's a real good point, man. Or uh, what's your name? Oh yeah, we definitely appreciate the input. Um, and you, what was your question again? Where are the young? I said my question is where are the brothers leading movements and the sisters starting nonprofits? And I said the complacency is killing our generation. Excuse me, hold on. <laughs> All right, let me ask you, okay, yes, man. Uh, I, I I understand what you're saying, um, everything that you're saying. You know, what I'm saying you lead a good point. Um, well, as a, as far as the young fellas, I would speak on myself because I'm young, being 19. Uh, 
we are we aren't starting movements because we still out here trying to finish school. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get past that. We gotta make money before we start nonprofit organizations and doing things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? The people in the past, since we want to talk about the past, they weren't taught this. The people leading the movements in the past and getting the civil rights laws passed were oh college God. students, were high school students, were people that were so young. And then we look at our generation today, and that's why other people look at us like, y'all not doing nothing, because it was them in college and in high school making all these changes, all these progressions, making all... Right, 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 right. No, all right, I understand what you're saying. It's like being in college, I understand what you're saying. Let, let me ask you, what have you done to uh, spark a movement? We started a non nonprofit called My Brother and My Sister in order to recreate and rebuild relationships between white and black people because in order to appreciate and understand each other and deal with this racism that's going on, we have to form more positive relationships. And the only way to form more positive relationships is is if we learn how to understand each other. And all the way we learn how to understand each other is if we react. And where is this held at? Like, what do you what do? you do? Like, tell us, like, yeah, what you tell do. Tell us a little bit about it. Promote it. Okay, I go to Bala Wallace University, and there's a... Oh, my God, right here. Get out of here. You gotta get booed. We don't want to have to do it. You gotta have to. You give us some insight. Just control the profanity. You giving us good insight. We try to keep you on the phone. Yeah. I am in the process of starting a nonprofit on my campus. I'm gonna start one in the fall. It's called my brother, my sister, and what I'm doing right now is actually creating a short film to represent the social inequalities and racial inequalities that go on on my campus, and then. I'm working on having it shown in every class on campus just so that people who want to get involved can start coming to my focus focus groups and conferences. How far along are you in that project? I have created my business plan. I started to make my film. I talked to film people, videographers. So that's where I'm at right now. Nowhere? Of course. That sounds like that sounds like nowhere. It sounds like a lot of places because if you don't start somewhere, you can't get anywhere. <laughs> we definitely, yeah, I definitely see where you're coming from. <laughs> don't listen to Ken, dude. <laughs> but, no, but no, we definitely see where you're coming from. And um, like, so basically, your point is stop talking about it, be about it. You know what I'm saying? So let's basically where you're coming from. You're saying let's not let's like, let's stop talking about it. Let's be about it. You know what I'm saying? Let's, it's about action. Right. But right, I hear you. But you did. Okay. And then you said the complacency is killing us, you know what I'm saying? Like complacency with where we're at is killing our generation. And the people that like are like you and that are doing things like this and are being proactive, kudos to you because you're the people who are doing this, but what I'm saying is there used to be more African American people and it doesn't even necessarily have to be now. Yeah, we out here taking it one day at a time, trying to change the world. <laughs> what we're trying to do, the change that we're trying to make, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. Oh yeah, we definitely appreciate it though, but I'm sorry, they're making a, um, they over here tapping on my shoulder telling us we gotta move on to the next topic. Um, if we definitely had time, we'll definitely bring it up later on. Yeah, it was we me. definitely appreciate um, you calling in and Yeah, the first female on the show who oh, called yeah. in. What's her name? Oh, yeah. What's your name? What's your name again? It was why I needed from Cleveland, man. She banged on us too, so. Oh, oh, man. Cleveland, thank you for calling. Sorry, but we, we got to move on. We got we are on time limit. We have got to go. All right. <laughs> present this next topic, man. Oh yeah. Man. Moving on. You Moving know we on. gotta touch base on a little bit of sports. You know, oh, Super, Super Bowl, Bowl was crazy yesterday. yesterday, man. I know y'all was like everybody's at home watching that. And I know a lot of y'all watching. lost a lot of money. <laughs> 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 I know a lot of y'all lost a lot of money because I also thought the Seahawks were gonna win. Crazy play though, like I'm mean, not saying that you bet any money because that'd be illegal. Oh I didn't bet any money. <laughs> of course I didn't bet any money. But <laughs> I thought the Seahawks were gonna win. You know, they was up fourteen in the fourth. And then it just got ugly, or ten in the fourth, and it got ugly. I'm talking about had the game was on the goal line, all they had to do was get a ball to my man's Marshawn Lynch, and they you played know. around with it. <laughs> I'm here, so I won't get fine. They played around <laughs> with it, man. I don't even know what's up with that. Oh, man. Did, and did y'all see Sherman's reaction? 
man, this guy. I would have cried, man. Shaving face. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was so hurt. Oh man, it was it was. Did y'all see, but did y'all see Pete Carroll's face? That's that's the face you need to watch. Y'all not watching the right game. See, y'all looked at Sharon's face. Y'all looked at everybody else. Y'all looked at Pete Carroll. He knew right when that interception came that his job was on the line. <laughs> he knew he was out of there. <laughs> he knew. As soon as he landed back in Seattle, he's going to get that call. Oh, yeah. Well, Pete, you know, it's been a good ride. You've done a lot for this organization, but, you know, you got to go. You got to go run. You're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That was, go. that was crazy, man. But let me let me see. Look, we're gonna have to transition into another topic because every time we seem to talk about sports on this show, we get a lot of tweets and calls talking about, oh my god, no, you're not talking about sports. Oh my god, oh my god. So let me just ask y'all this, females out there, I need to hear y'all opinions. Do y'all feel as if, well, my bad. Do y'all watch the game? Do y'all sit there with y'all dude and just, you know, just watch it? Or do y'all comment or, or y'all the ones that's right. all in two with y'all got Tom Brady jerseys on and y'all screaming and yelling. That, that's what I want to know. Have y'all, have y'all even had one of girlfriends like that? No. Yeah, they banged on them. Hey, give it a second on the phone calls real quick. We gonna, we definitely gonna allow y'all to call in, but let us get our, let's get it, let us get our opinions off real quick. Cool. Cool. Look, man, you gonna make Never that a kid. Hit that speaker, bro. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Yeah, this this is Andre. Um, <laughs> first thing I want to say about the Super Bowl is I'm very thankful for that play. That Super Bowl, you know, contributed to uh, paying my bills this month. It's not like you got some money on that, dog. <laughs> but as we connect the two topics, Marshawn Lynch is the classic oh, black person that we don't need oh. in a position of fame or power. Or anything because he is he's ridiculous when you showing up to nationally televised you know conferences and you saying well I'm only here you know so I don't get fined like that's ridiculous like you you're you're being that angry obnoxious that's you know no input having black men oh, that we it. don't oh, need our kids so looking up to you know and I just want to throw that out there just to kind of connect the last topic to this topic you know Okay, yeah, yeah, that was definitely a good connection. We see where you're coming from. We see the correlation. All right, Tom. All right, man. Wow. Yeah. But can we please just get on, like, a comment off first? Thanks, Andre. You great every time. Oh, yeah, I swear, bro. man, you just real, real consistent, like Lil B. That's what you want. <laughs> like. You call him Lil B. Oh, oh no. Um, let me have everybody here real quick. You know what I'm saying? If you're not hit to uh, Marshawn Lynch, he's a uh, okay. running back for uh, the Seattle Seahawks. And he's not very, he's not a real out, outspoken guy. That's, that's the least I can say. He right. shows up and he talks to the media, um, the very least, at the very least. Like, he shows up and he gives word, one word answers every time. And, and he just doesn't, he doesn't like the media. And um, that's just his take. And he, he's gotten a lot of um, backlash for it. As far as what Amre said, where uh, he doesn't feel like he should be, like, you know, looked up to by children and things like that, I don't agree. Uh, I, I think that Marshawn Lynch is expressing that he wants to do what he wants to do. You know, like, he doesn't, he doesn't, want, he doesn't want to be uh, confined to the, uh, to the rules of the NFL or, or that uh, he wants to be able to speak freely as he wants to without being, like, uh, his words... Uh, twist around and uh you know what i'm saying him looked at as a bad person so he doesn't speak with the media to avoid that because it has happened in the past you know with him wanting freedom of speech i don't think that it's bad for him to not speak with people so that they don't contort his words you know he should be able to to say whatever he wants and they not make it always into something that's bad you know what i'm saying so I feel like him doing that, not speaking to them, is the best in his case. So he doesn't get fined as he has been fined multiple times this year, and even years before. Like he, they, they got a, they looking at him real closely just for what he is doing. You know, in the, in the NFL, he's one of the the best running backs, and they looking at him closely because of that. And he's, it's like he got like restrictions on him with everything he does. That's why he doesn't comply with the rules that they have because he wants to be, you know, that outcast because of who he is and what how he's a figurehead of the NFL. And the only thing he's promoting is that he's going to show, he wants to do what he wants to do. You know what I'm saying? You can't confine him to strict rules. And I don't I don't disagree with him doing that. Yeah. 
And um, like that, that's a real good point. But he and he and you said it like he's losing or he does he's not or he's talking so he won't lose money. That's the thing though, like freedom of speech or lack thereof. He's not saying a word in these conferences. Sometimes he doesn't show up. And for the NFL, you have to be a spokesperson or um, they want you to be a spokesperson spokesperson for the league. And they want you to give these opinions after these games. And by him not doing that, he's getting fined thousands of dollars. I'm talking about people's salaries, $25,000, sometimes upwards of $50,000 um, fines for not talking to the media. Like, at some point, um, it has to kick in. Like, look, man, let me sit here and get these words off my chest real quick so they get off my back. Honestly, man, I think, like, Marshawn is the one of the realest dudes in the NFL. Honestly, I think that he, you know, when he says how to do something, that's what he going to do, or whether he likes it or, you know, whether he doesn't. And I think, I, I read an article about him, and I, I looked at it, and it, said, it was he talked about how, um, you know, he not about all being in the spotlight. You know, football is a team game. You know, with him being a running back, you know, the other 10 positions are just as important as him running the ball. You know, as you know, from the offensive line to the quarterback handing him the ball to the receivers blocking downfield, you know, it's all everything has to go in, you know, in order for him to do what he has to do. So I feel like you know a lot. And they even he even talked about back when he was in college. You know, he let everybody else do the the talking because he wasn't about the spotlight. You know, he just came to do his job, you know, play his game, and you know, and that was it. So I mean, I don't think he should be ridiculed for that. No, but now. Honestly, no, but, no, my bad. I didn't cut you off. I mean, you good, bro. I mean, he he doing his job, and that's all that should matter at the end of the day. It's not about, you know, talking and, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's never about talking. You know, everybody come to play football. You feel me? Right. And not everybody's built like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people don't have that that um, gene to want to talk all the time. Not everybody's Avery. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, that's just not what how it's built. Like, it's cool, man. Do the music. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Not everybody's built like that. I mean, if you just think is running the football and minding his own business, that's him. Um, and he's a real stand-up guy. He's real, and you've got a lot of a lot of characters on the Seattle um, Seahawks. You got Sherman, who's everybody. A, a lot of people are amped up about because. But they all still guy. they all still support him though, mm -hmm. regardless. As they should. I'm gonna take this call, man. Birds and the bees. What's going on? Hello. Yeah, you're live on air. You're live on air. Birds and the Beast. <clears throat> yeah, so about this uh, Marshawn Lynch situation. I, I truthfully feel like, I mean, if you ever heard that man talk, his, his grammar isn't the greatest. Like, <laughs> not in any sense. You know, I feel like he goes up there and he, he has to do this. It's in his contract. He has to do these interviews and talk to these people. But I feel like he's just scared that he's going to mess up, say the wrong thing. And so, to stop that, he just, you know, he just makes those student comments like, yeah, I'm not, I'm here just so I won't get fined and all that. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's really how I feel about it. So basically, you're saying that he's not answering the media so that he doesn't get ridiculed. <laughs> oh, my God. Really, he, he's scared. Have you, have you ever heard this man talk before? Like, I'm trying to play the dude, but, I mean, he, he, he's, He's straight ebonics, you know, he's, he's in interviews, um, messing up saying the N-word, cussing and all that, man. If he keeps that up, they're going to just label him as another N-word in the NFL. And that's what he's trying to avoid. Them, huh? That's what he's trying to avoid, them labeling him. That's why he doesn't speak to them. Doesn't say anything. That's a good point. I see it. Exactly. That's why he doesn't speak to them, because he does not want to be labeled. That's, that's what I just said. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. You were reiterating our point. That's what I was, what I was getting to. I agree with y'all. Oh yeah. Do we have, do we have some radio beef? Oh no, no. Oh man. You got any uh, shots you want to get, sir? Wait, may I ask who's calling? Yeah, this is Mike. Shout out to my brother Chris. You know what I'm saying? Been with me since day one. Birthday is two, be two weeks away. Ready, bro. That's my day. Oh, shout out to Kev. Right there, we go away from Turn up. You want to shout out anybody else you think that's not listening right now? Like, uh, shout out to my best friend in the whole wide world, uh, Rashawn Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to him, uh, Chief Kanye. Shout out to Kanye. Shout out to Rashawn Arnold. I just want to make sure he's all right. <laughs> all right, bro. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. Right. All right, bro. <laughs> Man. Man. It's always a great call for Mike. It's, 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 it's always, always is, man. It's always a great one. Big 
Mike from the wood. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but thank you for chiming in on that subject, you guys. But we are about to come back, you know, to y'all in a minute. Uh, Hey, Randy, Randy, hang up the speaker for oh, Randy, 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 Randy. Oh, yeah, one job, man. Oh, <laughs> but we are, but we will be back. We will take this call after the break, guys. But we will be back. Burn this beat. The click is the tightest. The drinks are the coldest. The future, the brightest. The feet not divided. The love is divided. And I just, I just thank God that we got it. We got some real good topics for y'all coming up, though. Then what's the topic then, Randy? What's the topic? Let them know. <laughs> is it coming right after a song or something? Nah, man, it's right now, man. Okay, why don't you tell them right now? Tell them right now, then. Right now. Tell them right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Our topic is. I need my topic. I need them now. The do's and don'ts of, of dates, relationships. You know what I'm saying? The do's and don'ts of dates. Yeah, y'all love relationships. So I know y'all gonna love this topic. Y'all love y'all love all the topics. topics. So yeah, yeah. we have yeah. all good phone calls today, so I know this will. You guys love all the relationship topics. We, we want to get more female feedback on this too. Like female topics. Yeah, like female topics. Female topics. Female topics. Female topics. Because since Valentine's Day is coming up, we want to know. You know, tell us and the rest of the listeners. What what your man or woman should do on a date and what she shouldn't do on a date. We want to know what's good and what's not. Let tell us about it. I'm ready. We're waiting on your call right now. <laughs> I know you were the first to call in right now. Well, I, I know. Some stories, man. Let us know. We're well, gonna go around the circle real quick, man. What y'all think about this though? All right. Well, really, I don't really have a a strong opinion about this because you know I don't really do the whole date scene that much. Then what do you do? I'm what, chilling, what man. Be careful, chilling. Just what chilling, do you do? I'm chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, this is why I don't though. You know, I, I I was on Twitter one time. You know, it's always Twitter. And, 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 this, and this, you know what I'm saying? This this young lady, she told me, she said that the the dinner and movies are oh, getting too cliche. I told you they love it, man. Oh, man. They love it so much. Birds and the bees, what's going on? You already know it. <laughs> 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 Do's and don'ts on a date, man. You want to really make my date? You know, I work and I, you know, I got money or whatever, but let me take you on a date. And when I go to reach for my bank card, you tell me I, I got it. I swear. Boy! 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 I swear, man. I swear, bro. Boy! 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 Right, bro, you here? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, you man, you keep going, bro, man. I'm sorry, man. We had to take a brief a little, a little break. I'm telling you, man, if, if I reach, if I'm reaching and you're like, you know what, I got it, man. I'm gonna give you an extra chance to mess up just because. <laughs> 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 you know, hey, give us a new she, she grabbed that check last night, though. That that don't happen too often, you know. And, and another big thing, man. It's from head to toe. You cannot hide it. Body hygiene. I don't care if you rushing and you like, you know, I can skip this, I can skip that. But but me personally, I like really pay attention to a female if I'm out with her or whatever. And, and I will catch you trying to tuck something or hide something or spray uh, pink fragrance spray over something. I will catch you. Thanks, Andre. I know you're gonna call in about two more minutes, but we start getting into this into detail. I got <laughs> All right, bro. Thanks. All right. All right, now back to what I was saying, though. All right, what I was saying is that you know what I'm saying. I was uh, talking about dating and stuff on Twitter. You know, I'm not really one of those those go to the movies type guy because you know. I just happened to stumble across some of those illegal websites sometime and save a lot of money. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I do it. I'm sorry. You mean, you mean, your, you mean your friend? My friend did. Your friend did. He must have played it for me, and, I, you know, something like that happened. But, uh, you know, this girl, she told me, she said, uh, you know, uh, that uh, the movie and dinner scene is getting too cliche. So then what does she want? I, that's a good question. <laughs> I it's not cliche. You know what I'm saying? What you want to do? You want to scuba dive and bungee jump and stuff like? <laughs> I, think, I think I do think that's the new age though. Like, I think they like these exotic dates. That's what they want. I asked her. They like exotic. What does she want out of me? I don't know. At the time, out of my 18 year old Wendy's working. <laughs> She had no she just said, uh, the dinner and movies is too cliche, it's too cliche, you know, I want to do something else, but 
what? What? <laughs> what, 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 are you, what are you gonna bring to the table? She, she must want to go horseback riding. She, was she gonna pay for horseback riding? <laughs> 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 oh, man. You know what I'm over? But she gonna oh, pay for for horseback riding. You know I'm. I'm still tripping about that $90 bill that I paid at Benny Hollis last year on oh, Valentine's Day. Hold on, hold on, man. You ain't talking about the sweet $92.46 that I had to pay at Oh, God. Sorry. You ain't talking about that. <laughs> We're talking about that. We're not oh, talking man. about when we went up there and I ordered water and she didn't get the hit. I couldn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> iced tea. You know what I'm saying? It's iced tea. With the sparkles around the room. The sparkles around the room. <laughs> We could have, we could have did that. We could have went to Heinz and got that for twenty five dollars. Yet you want to spend ninety because it looks good. We want to dress. We want to, you want to wear the same shoes and look nice when we go out. Well, we can do this at home. We could have went to Applebee's. Shout out to Talia because I know you're listening. We could have <laughs> went to Applebee's with the soft twenty dollars and went to go see any movie you wanted at my house. <laughs> I, I want y'all to tell us what is, what do y'all want to do? What do, y- what do y'all want y'all man to take y'all on a date to? Because right now it seems like Sky Zone is. is Really popping up. It's, it's so right yeah, it's, got, man, it's, on, man. Man. it's crazy in there. Come I got my brother up over there over the weekend. It, it was so crazy, man. But have y'all, look, man. Have y'all checked the prices to go in the sky zone? That's a, that, y'all, y'all understand. They charge about an oh, hour, too, though. Yes. They charge about an hour. Man, look, man. That's something different, man. If I'm about to go in here and drop this hot $60 for me and you, so that's a good $120. You better go in there. You better jump around. Live life like you ain't never lived before. That's what I'm talking about. You better go in there and bounce around. I want to see you sprain your ankle. <laughs> 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 we need to go to the emergency room. What happened to this? All right, let me pass. I want to hear somebody else give me an opinion. You know, people giving me tweets and stuff saying I'm hitting the spot. So I know y'all feeling me. My mom just texted me. She called me cheap. So, <laughs> you know, I know y'all, y'all listening to me. Y'all hearing me. I want to hear what everybody else got to say. Somebody else touch base. Oh, yeah, man. Definitely, like, uh... Wow. Man, you ain't talking about Big Randy that go to Bone for spend sixty dollars just cause. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Big Randy. Ooh. You want Big Randy to touch bases? Man. No, man. It's, not, ahead, it's bro. not like this over here, you know what I'm saying? We I'm a real frugal guy when it comes to spending. <laughs> Explain you know, what that means. That's a big word. Frugal man, you're a wise frugal. spender. You're not know always spending all your bread around. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. You that <laughs> it's Ignatius' word. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, 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 God. You let your woman go for the bill, though. You know what I'm saying? You let her. It's, you got to be trigger happy with it. You know what I'm saying? Whoever pulls out the car faster. You know what I'm saying? You got to play a game. So you talking about you talking about David Carr Roulette. Oh, yeah. That's the game that you love to play. That's what I play. I know you love to yeah. play it. We put them both out. We see who grabs them first. Oh, let's see, let's see what they're talking about. Birds and bees, what's going on? Yo, this Steve. What's good, bro? What's good, Steve? Yeah, man. See, I, I, I beg to differ with y'all, man. I, I, I think there's nothing wrong with spending a, a little bit of money on the lady you care about. Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get to this, <laughs> we, hold on, hold on, hold on. What kind of, like, money you talk about spending? You said a little bit. I mean, bit. don't get me wrong. You should budget your money, you know. You should, if you, if you care, if you plan it. Wait, wait. Steve it. <laughs> put a limit on how much you love you so i mean if you don't want to put a limit on how much you love you you shouldn't as a male and as a, as a provider you shouldn't put a limit on what you spend on your lady you know what i'm saying steve you're taking it somewhere that it didn't have to go <laughs> <laughs> look look here you know what i'm saying so you're telling me that 90 dollar bill at benny hollis is not excessive is that what you're is that what, is that what you're saying steve i'm not saying it's not excessive i'm saying though it, you shouldn't have took her if she wasn't worth it Ooh. We was there, man. We <laughs> <laughs> look, man. Look, look, hold on, hold on. So let's just let's just let's just run through a typical night with you, Big Band Steve, and let's see, and let's just add this up real fast. We're gonna do the math. I got a calculator on me. How about we run through a typical Valentine's Day <laughs> night with you, Big <laughs> Bands, and let's see, let's just see how that go. I mean, last year, you know what I'm saying? I went within my means. You know, last year. I, I did the in home thing, but we made it intimate. You know, you got you don't always have to spend the bread. I mean, I spent a couple of dollars. Steve, that's exactly what I'm saying to do. You did it last year, and you're on my back about it. That's exactly what I told you that I would rather do. Anything like that, ninety dollars you spent was just so outrageous. I mean, you was in love with the Rodney, so. <laughs> Since you know, since we getting on this, you know, the girl who said that those dates were just cliche was Brooklyn, your ex. <laughs> <laughs> she was a girl, crazy man. 
she was your ex, and maybe you didn't treat her right. You didn't take her in the right direction. Maybe you didn't take her in the right direction. That's the that's why she feels like this. She came at me about this. She felt like that about you. Wow, man. Oh, okay, yeah. Now she didn't feel like that about you. But I'm just saying that ninety dollar dinner is is that's plus the gifts. You know, you gotta get the teddy bears, the chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the fact that he teddy bears. It was forty dollars. It was forty dollars for that teddy bear. Plus the ninety dollar the date. That's a hundred thirty dollars just right there. Special lady, why not treat her special? I mean, because it's gonna be some lame duck that's gonna come across her that that's gonna treat her extra special because you didn't do it. I did treat her special. I'm He's telling you about what I did do. He's I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> would you not listening to me? I'm telling you that I did do it. It's just that it was too expensive. That's what I'm saying. She wasn't worth the expense. Dude. Wow. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Steve, man. You gotta get that all fired up. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta respect what his opinion. Know, what she, got worth the expense. she 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 was worth the expense, but was your girl worth it when you sat in? Was she worth it when you sat in? Huh? Was your girl worth it when she sat when you sat in and you just had intimacy with her? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but that 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 was a mutual understanding. If y'all got a mutual understanding that she want to go out, then I mean, you, you prepare yourself, my man. I mean, if your pockets can't hold it, then you might as well say that. But I think that's the most embarrassing mistake. Steve, you must forget who you're talking to. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I kind of did, because you were all talking about $90 like it was a struggle. Like. 140 bucks. <laughs> Say again, I said 140 bucks. Me being a college student, <laughs> me being a college student, that is expensive for anyone. <laughs> I don't care what you're talking about, what day, $140 is expensive. Like I said, you was in love, so it was worth it. I agree. Oh man! <laughs> thanks for calling. Man, thanks, bro, man. Oh my God, man! It's always comedy, oh, man, oh, with topics oh. like these, man. I swear to God. You got Kendall all fired up, man. You got oh, my you God. Got Big Ben's Kells here going crazy right now. They all on my back. They got my mom. She's on my back, man. <laughs> She's on my back. <laughs> wow. Oh man! Wow. This is crazy. This is this is. Wow. wow, my mom was all on Kendall's back too. She loves Kendall. <laughs> she just said that Big Steve was right. Wow. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, she, she called him a real man too. Wow. Yeah, yeah Kendall. That's crazy. Version of Beans is going on. You might as get caveman Steve out of here. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the girl taking, you know, not to say I never paid, you know, because I, last year I was like, my, girl, my girl wanted this teddy bear that was bigger than her. You talking about, you talking about the one from Big Lots that's around $140? Yeah. Yeah, I, well, the one I got was like $110. Yeah, next. Uh, all that. Yeah, next. You see, the thing is, that's cool, but it doesn't have to happen all the time and that's where chicks get caught up and, and ruin things like okay yes on this time i might spend 200 bucks on this date or 300 bucks on this date or whatever but next time we're going to stay in and watch a movie and cook food on my stove <laughs> yeah. thank you yeah. <laughs> every single time it has to be outrageous you know, you're going to have those days where you play. On my stove. Like, you know, I've been to dinners where the dinner alone was like 160 But that's cool that's because for the next dinner. three months, our days are probably going to be in my living room. Wait. Wait, 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 well, see, I, I like the finer things in life. You know, I'm trying to get my hands on them. So I'll five-star restaurants, things of the desert. One plate is like 60 bucks, and then your drink is like another 10. You know, water free. You know that water's free, right? Water is free. You know water's water the free thing you can have, right? Everywhere. It really is. I don't like to limit. Like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to make sure I'm able that True. day. So I'm going to make sure I have a, a, a excess of money, you know, so if you want a $25 alcoholic beverage, you can have that, if you're of age, of course. <laughs> but 
it's just that it doesn't have to be all the time. You know, that a lot of chicks are like, well, he took me here last week, so I know next week we going so somewhere easy. crazy. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Dude, my couch. Wow. <laughs> You just gotta keep competing with yourself. Good thing you gotta choose your mate wisely. You know, if you can't choose that chick who, who cold, but she she like one step away from being a gold digger, because you know you y'all never gonna be able to balance. Like you know, uh, it's been times where where money do run low. If your chick ain't ain't willing to cover you in that time, then she don't deserve you know to eat. Hundred and sixty dollar dinners. Like you, you couldn't give me five dollars when I, now you wanna order it. Choosing the you know, they mate for the wrong reasons too. So does she deserve the Applebee's? I mean, if, if she if she can't give you five bucks while your checks in the mail, then she might not even deserve the Applebee's after nine o'clock and <laughs> oh, but what about the TJ Fridays with the endless appetizers? Maybe the endless appetizers, but that might be spoiling her because she doesn't deserve it. <laughs> oh, oh my God, man! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This dude, man. Don't take part when I'm up. Wow. That's all I got for y'all. You ain't with me when you win. This dude is silly, man. Bro, thanks, Arbor, man. You always just make us laugh here, man. You're a fool, man. Oh, my God. That dude is an absolute fool, man. You weren't well, with me when I was losing. Don't be with me when I'm winning. Well, look, man. Yeah, man. Look, man, it's just, it's a lot of money that just goes into this. And a lot of, y'all, y'all really just don't understand, which makes me go back to the point where Sweet Day is for the men. We might mess around and get a little watch or something, but not compared to the $90 dinner. And the fact yeah, that the Sweeties Day is not for the men, bro. Like, is it another one for the for the females? Yes, they make it for the women, bro. Like, they make it for they themselves. Oh, yes. God. They take over, like they do everything. They take over. <laughs> they take I, over. I, I don't want a woman bash today. That's not what we so, here for. So, Randy, how bro. about Randy? How about you tell me your marvelous plan for, for Valentine's Day? And uh, then, if any female listening, and you are corresponding with any of these fine gentlemen in this booth <clears> for Valentine's Day. This might be what you're doing too. I want to tell you my plans for Valentine's Day. I don't know my plans for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Why, Randy? Why is that? <laughs> I told my girl, this is what I told my girl. We, uh, let's do something out of the ordinary this time. Um, we had a, a lovely dinner last trip at a, a jazz restaurant. And um, it, we, it was it was a different um, change of pace for us. And she loved it. Uh, she had a real good time. But this time, I told her, how about the ball's in your court? You decide what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll, we'll go at it like that. Right. And she felt that it was different. She wanted to rock with it, so that's where we're going. You pick me up, and you tell me where we going. <laughs> right, man. I put my I put my nice shoes on, you know what I'm saying? Put on my favorite. And her case would be a dress for mine, and it'd be a nice uh, shirt or whatever I'm wearing that day. And we just going to have a good time. Yeah, man, I feel like ain't nothing wrong with switching it up when it comes to the dates. And, uh, you know, I mean, it, like 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 Kels was saying earlier, man, ain't no need for, like, the cliche dates, you know, the, the dinner and the movie. You know, y'all find something y'all want to do, you know, wherever y'all want to go, you know, switch it up. You feel me? Like, you know, have fun with it. Definitely, man. You got to switch it up sometimes. Just, you know what I'm saying? It's a good point with the, the movies and the dinner and the movie that gets a little old. But you can spice it up. You can go bowling, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you can... Go to Sky's on break an ankle or two, you know? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, whatever you want to do, man. It's, 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 it's all up to y'all. Me, I'm telling you, you ain't put enough effort in. Get back, man. It's, it's all up to y'all, man, for real. If you want no blood, you ain't had no fun. I'm telling you, man, that's the bad <laughs> dude. You, know, you, you guys don't understand me, but we got, got eight minutes left. You know we're going to end on one song as usual. So, man, we might as well just keep on carrying this topic out and say how we feel about it. My mom sitting up here, my mom talking about Steve's a real man and all the, this, that, and the third. You ain't tell me that when I went to go spend $90 at Wasabi. I, I mean, you, you didn't tell me that when I went to go get that, Daddy, $50 from Walmart. You didn't tell me that. Wow. You got the chocolates, too. You didn't tell me none of this, Mom. I, I'm just saying. Hey, I think you should have her call in so she can yeah. give us insight. Hey, you call it right now, Mom. So she can give us yeah. insight and tell us about <laughs> you. What, what us young men should do you. to please women because yeah, I'm you. sure she would know. Yeah, you, Valinda Sharp. You, Valinda Sharp, calling right now. I need to see your number. Buzzing, right? I'll send you a text because I know you sit up here. You don't play around like you don't hear me. Call <laughs> in now because my mom needs to get some insight because clearly she knows something that I don't know. And talking about like, man, look, we are broke college students. 
We ain't out here doing no illegal things, getting no money like that. Man, we are per saving every single penny. So having that money, mommy, you probably gonna give me. So am I still a man? <laughs> <laughs> am I still a man then, mom? That nice money that I just spent to go out and take her out to Wasabi for ninety dollars, mom? Was she ordered crazy. the crispy iced tea, mom, instead of the water that I got? I gotta get back on that, man. Water well, you don't take the hint for the water. The water is just zero dollars. It just hurts your soul. <laughs> <laughs> it's the terrible. water, man. It's zero dollars. Like, it, 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 it's, it's us, us men who get we get that water, that bland water, yeah. and you drink real good. I get, yeah. I get the water everywhere I go. So, so don't be mad when I when I dip my straw into your cup. <laughs> <laughs> Look, bro, I'm about to call it right now. I had to call it because she was playing around. Call it right now, mom. <laughs> She'll be here momentarily on the phone. No, oh, man. Man, no, don't be mad when I dip my straw into your nice tea with the spot <laughs> still on the rim. And we'll share it. The strawberry lemonade the with, strawberry the, with, the, with the sugar. <laughs> the sh yeah, yeah. Here's what everybody's been waiting on. You want birds and the bees, mom? You, this is anonymous, mom. You are like, absolutely hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe this is what, I, what I'm hearing from you, from you gentlemen. Wow. Wow, gentlemen, where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you And don't get, don't get me wrong, because I'm not going to go that easy for me to put this in. What Steve said makes all the sense to me. You know, it's not about so much of what you do and how much you spend. If that female, that woman is worth it, then you do what you do. Because you make her feel like a queen, but guess what? It's okay for her to make you feel like a queen. So it all has to be reciprocated, not measured to the task, but reciprocated. And you know I got your back? And I got four. They go both ways, right, gentlemen? Yes, we agree that it does go both ways. That's my son who I raised. So that ninety something dollars you spent or whatever that that was a beautiful thing because you did that. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But it was your money, mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it was yours. <laughs> it was mine. Uh, yeah, you gave me last year. You said you got to do something nice. First you miss will see, which I love, he said, you are supposed to budget, budget that, so that means not your mother's money, you're supposed to budget that money in for oh. those type of occasions, and those type of days. You see what I'm saying? A woman will respect that you, you look for a quick, and you don't look for anybody that's big in, and as big all in your pocket to take however much you have. I look at it this way, what, what little I have, I will be willing to share with you, and that's the white male. So guess what? He's going to do that for me, too. I'm going to be his. Did she say white or white? All right. Okay, Ma, okay, Ma, then let me, then let me, before you leave, let me propose something to you right now. So say a, a lucky gentleman in your life was to um, take you to, well, you know, I mean a nice wealthy man, but you know he's wealthy, you know he got it. Well, if he took you to McDonald's, and let you order off the, off the dollar menu, not even a full meal. How about that for Valentine's Day? For Valentine's Day. Let me put it like this. That's no big deal to me. That's okay for Valentine's Day. Listen, I've been there, done that experience. I'm over. So what I'm saying is, he might do that for Valentine's Day because that's just the day and that's just the name on that day. But he might have taken me to somewhere else, to the five-star restaurant the week before. But what if he doesn't do any of those things? He just takes you to McDonald's because you're special. It, McDonald's might be special. It might be a McDonald's kind of nice too. <laughs> <laughs> so what if I? So what about if he tries to get fancy? Try to take you to Jaro George. Uh, you can do better one yet and come right on here and I'll, I'll fix him a good good meal. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. That, that's, that's what we're talking, talking about. about. We need more women like you, we Mom. That, that's all we were talking about. 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 That's all we wanted. Mommy. Yeah. yeah that's, that's all we wanted the whole time was that's just for our women to just say, you know what? We don't have to spend 90 at Benny Honest today. I'll, you can come home and I'll cook for you. I'll cook. You need to be saying that because guess what? And I could come home and my man could cook for me too. No problem. But see, that's what we do. That's what you all have to, have to start doing. Okay, you can up. The white person that you are with, what I do for you, you'll do it for me with no problem. 
I don't have to ask. I don't have to try. I have to argue with it. When you do things like that for sure, you do it out of your heart. I'm not expecting anything back. It's a reward. You you understand? Yeah, mommy, you you, you up here trying to tell you about the dog is. No, she's pretty so not feel it. Mm-hmm. I try to teach you I try to teach you all to be correct. But that's the same thing for them. Don't expect nothing and they expect nothing when they aren't giving something. And it may not be nothing monetary monetarily but they're giving back to you. But it might be just because I mm, maybe I'm gonna take you to the movie. Maybe you go to the damn and, and it's a surprise, let's grab here and we're going to the movie and baby I got it. Say, I got it. They want to know, and that does have nothing to do with whether a man has it in his pocket or not. Exactly. They need somebody with a giving heart also. Okay. Yeah, Ma. Hey, Ma. Exactly. Mommy, Ma. Thank you. We do appreciate you. Oh, yeah, we definitely We got one more minute left. We got to play this Eric Badu, Ma. We got to get up out of here. I love you, too. I love you, too, man. Thank you, Randy. Yeah, that's my mom. All right, one last thing. See, you know, she was a little elder, so she she gave us insight coming from a woman. Call my mom old. No. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, show. you know what I'm saying? People our age don't think like that. You know what I'm saying? She need she probably that. don't know that yet. You know what I'm saying? I done been I done done this. You know what I'm saying? People our age don't think like that. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same. You know, but you know, I don't want to have to go to ten thirty, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Birds and the bees, what's going on? She said, baby, I got it, I'll cook for you. Avery, your mother is the real MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Turn up. Uh, he loves you. That, that, she does love me. That's all we want. Thank you for commenting on my mother. <laughs> <laughs> she is definitely the real MVP. She you is. And, I like her. And, and even my mom really. then texted me and said, she on point, so <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for know. calling in and giving us that insight. You know what I'm saying? We we always want to learn from, from people who are older than, their, than ourselves because they got experience. Hey, we appreciate all the love and the feedback, man. We need it all. Thanks, everybody, who, for listening today. We back here on Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Tune in. We got Wordplay Wednesday. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Write something. You got two days. Write some fire. Give us a poem, some anything, a rap, just some spoken word. Sure, you know what I'm sure. saying? We want, it, we we want something to come out of you, you know? Thanks for listening. Thanks for giving us feedback today. You know, we had different people, new people today. Yeah, I'm glad to, to see that on Twitter. People are meeting from BW. Everybody, thank you oh, for calling yeah. in. Shows that we expanded, man. Definitely, man. Thank you. Thank we you so you much. Mean. But we do have this Erica Badu, Love of My Life, coming up. I don't know if y'all know about this. I don't know if y'all know about Erica. She's a bad lady. <laughs> but you want to sign us off, Randy? Oh, yeah, man. It's been real today. I appreciate all the love. Uh, you listening to Birds and the Bees. You talking to Randy. Juve. Avery. And Kels. It's on with y'all. We out of here. Coming oh, up. That was hard. Coming up. <laughs> 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 that was hard. Hey.